Okay guys, today we are going to talk about place value and we're gonna focus mainly on the place value of whole numbers. So what is place value? Place value is the value of a digit depending on its place. So since we're talking about whole numbers, what's the difference between a whole number and a decimal? A whole number is a number like 2,346. And a decimal number would be anything that comes after a decimal point after this whole number. So your decimal would be something like this. So we're going to focus mainly on the whole number part today, and we're not going to focus on the decimals yet. The decimals will be the next lesson. So when I read this number, you heard me read it as 2,346. So let's talk about the different place values that we have in fifth grade. In fifth grade, we like to think of place values as families. And when you come to class, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you a story about an easy way to remember these families. But in fifth grade, we have four families. Every family has three spots in it. The first family we call the units family. The second family we call the thousands family. And you may remember this from f fourth grade. We call the third family the millions. And the one family that should be new to you in fifth grade would be the billions family. So when you are reading a number, you read it with those names attached to it. Um, inside the family, each one of the spots has a different uh, value. This first spot in every family is always the ones. No matter what family you're in, this first spot is always going to be classified as the ones. The middle one in every single family is going to be classified as the tens. And the third one in every single family will be classified as the hundreds. So no matter what family you're in, it's going to be classified as the hundreds if it's in the third place value spot. Now, why does knowing this make it easy to read numbers? Well, if we know the names of the families, let me make a number for you. We can have a number like 342600004. Okay? How would we read this number? When we're looking at this number, we start from left to right, just like when we're reading a book. So you always read a number from left to right. And you start with this first family. These commas are when you would say the family's name. And you have to say the family's name before you can move on to the next family. So I would just read this number right here exactly as it is. It's 342. Then there's a comma, so i got to read the last name for that family. So it's 342,600,004. Now, the last family, you didn't hear me say the word units. We don't have to read the family of the last name because there is no comma after that family. You only read the last names when you reach a comma. So again, that number would be 342 million, 600,000, four. It's as easy as that. So if we take another number, like let's take 42006000483, and let's read this number. Again, you see where they're lined up, so we got to read this number first. That's a 42 billions. Six millions, we don't have any thousands, so we don't read that, 483. So let's read it again. 42 billion, six million, 483. We just skip that thousands family because we don't have anything there, so there's no need to talk about it. So that's dealing with the different place values that we have. When you come to class, we're going to be working with a lot of numbers and being able to read them and identify the different place values. What you're also going to be required to do in class is I may give you some random number like, like this. And I may say, tell me the value of this 8. Well, first of all, every number has a first and a last name. So the first name would be these names up here in red. And the last name would be, of course, the last names. So if we want this 8, we know the first, it's in the first spot, so it'd be a 1s. And it's in the thousands, so we would say it's 8 one thousands. If I want to know the value of 
this 6. I would see it's also in the ones, and it's in the millions family. So it's 6 1 millions. If I wanted to know the value of this 2, right here, all I do is I read the first name. It's in the is two tens. We don't have to say units again because we don't ever read that family's last name. Finally, if I was going to look at the value of this 4, I would say it is in the four hundred thousands. Four hundred thousands because it's in that third spot, which is the hundreds, and it's in the thousands family. So whenever we read numbers, we read their first name, which is what spot they're in in that family, the hundreds, the tens, or the ones, and we read their last name, which would either be the billions, the millions, or the thousands. We don't ever read the last names of the units. So be prepared to come to class ready to look at some numbers and identify the place values of those numbers.